Hey guys, when the grid goes down, what are you gonna do for drinking water? What are you gonna do for water to cook with, take baths? Well, today we're gonna make a water filter. We're gonna show you how to do it. Simple ingredients, it's easy to make. It won't take a few minutes, just takes just a few things that you can get that you can get now before it's too late. But anyway, be right back and we'll show you how we're gonna make it. Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Don't forget to channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch your video. Bye. These water filters are pretty simple to make. The ones we make, they last for years and years. So it's pretty basic, pretty basic ingredients. All you're going to need is some gravel. We went to a big box store and bought a bag of gravel. And then we bought a bag of sand. Any sand will work. Play sand, construction sand. As long as it's sand, it'll work. Okay? And then you're going to get charcoal. This is lump charcoal. This don't have any type of lighter fluid in it or anything like that. And it's made from natural hardwood. And it's actually like chunks of burnt wood. You know, it's not briquettes or biscuits or whatever you want to call them. So you definitely want to get this kind of charcoal. This is the kind you want to get. What we're going to use... There's a five gallon bucket from a no name store here. And then uh, a lid, you'll need a lid. Well, you don't really have to have a lid, but it's recommended. Okay, and right here's a trick, it's a little bulkheads. I ordered these right here off Amazon and uh, I'll leave a link to this stuff that I use down in the description. But these things right here work pretty good. These bulkheads here do, they're threaded on the inside. I don't have one today, but you can also put like a half inch shut off valve on it which really needs or some type of plug so i'm definitely gonna get some of those i just don't have any right now and this thing right here will be in the bottom of the bucket down here like that just like that i have a drill bit for that okay and this right here this big barrel right here what this is i'm just showing it right now we're, we're going to make a bigger a larger one this right here will be a whole home water filter Okay, which we plan on moving our water totes around a little bit is the reason I'm not doing it right now. I'm just trying to trying to show you guys how we're going to do it. We're going to make another one. All right, I can uh, I can basically semi-pressurize this thing because it has a lock and ring and has a seal in it. So I'll put one of these in the top for water going in, and I'll put one in the bottom for water going out to the house. So the water out of the totes will go into this through our filter, be pumped with our pump, and right back out. So it'll get filtered here. And then it'll go through the in-house filters that we have. So that's the reason I want to show this because we're making a large one for the house. You want to see right there your lip, that's the bottom of your bucket on the inside. So you want to go just a little bit above that, of course. I don't like to try to center mine. Put it right there. So I want to go about right here with it. Okay. Like all the shaving up. Okay, these are reverse threads. And when you order these bulkheads right here, I get the stainless steel bulkheads, and they come in a five pack, and they don't cost that much. Anyway, you take the nut off of it, put it right through the hole, just like that. And put your nut back on it. And they are reverse threads. There you go. There you have it. It's just like that. One thing I forgot to mention is we've had this for a while, so I didn't have to buy any. This is landscape fabric that's put outside on the ground, you know, put mulch and stuff on. We've got an extra bucket right here. <clears throat> I'm going to put some gravel in this extra bucket to, you know, wash it off and stuff like that. Kind of run it, a little bit of water through it. plenty right there okay i'm gonna go over to the water hose and i'm gonna wash it off Let's try to get it as clean as you can before you pour it in there let's 
kind of slush around. Pour it out. Okay. And there you have it. Semi-clean gravel. Now on this fabric stuff right here, you can use t-shirts if you want. Just make sure it's the kind with no dye in it, like white t-shirts with no colored dye in it. What you want to do is cut a piece of this big enough to put down in the bottom of the bucket and cover up this hole right here. You know, kind of like layer it in. I'll show you. What you want to do is you layer it in there. And like I said, you can use t-shirts if you want. This right here, probably... I'll probably cut that in half. You still have plenty. They give me two pieces. So basically, just like I said, I'm just gonna put it in the bottom. Like that. And make, just as long as it covers up that hole, that's all I care about. That keeps your gravel from washing out. That's your first step. Okay, just like that, I just bunched it in there. Just bunched it in there. Pour enough on the bottom. Basically, really, to cover up that hole right there. We just got a little, little bit. Right. The only downside to these filters like this is they will get heavy. All right, guys, as you can see down in here, it's covering up the the outlet right there. The gravel's about about an inch to inch and a half above that with the screen on it. The gravel can't wash out through the outlet here. The sand is what really is your filter, the sand is. You can kind of gauge it by how much you need. I'm gonna put about half, a little over half of sand in it. And then you have a layer of charcoal on the top. Yeah, I think that'll be plenty. Now what I wanna do is take it over and run some water in it, slosh it around. Basically, just get the dust and stuff out of it. But once you make this filter, you're going to want to run some water through it. That's the reason. Try to make them now before, you know, before anything does happen. You know, get them made. And, you know, let's store them. All right. On top of the gravel, I'm going to put another layer of this. Keep the sand from going into the gravel. Things pour it in here. Okay, that's plenty of sand for a five gallon filter. This right here is like actual pieces of burnt wood. So what I want to do, see it's just like actual pieces of burnt wood. I'm going to throw it in here and I'm going to wash it too. But I'm also going to try to find a board to try to break it up as best I can. So it ain't going to take a whole lot of this. Piece of this between every layer of everything. So here's two more. So what I'm gonna do is get her bucket back up here. Okay. 
I didn't say it is draining a little bit of water out. Okay. There's one that way. We'll go ahead and put another one. Keep that charcoal from washing down in there. Okay. There's two layers of that. So what I'm gonna do now is charcoal we just washed. I'm gonna pull right on top of there. Put another layer right on top of this charcoal. You see this charcoal, the reason I'm doing this is because the charcoal will float when you put water in there, that charcoal will rise and float. So what you wanna do is take some of the gravel that you just washed and you didn't use it all, pour it right there on top of it. So that's basically is your filter. If you wanna use it like that, you can. But you can take and put the lid on it, fasten the lid down on it, then drill a hole in it, maybe make a funnel, you know what I mean? Put a funnel in it and then let it run out. But for video purposes, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep the disc where I can seal it up. But so what we'll do is we'll take this thing and we'll go get us a, a bucket of water and uh, we'll pour it in there and let it clean it all out, you know what I mean? Gonna take a minute to run all that out. It's still a little, looks like sand. It'll take a few minutes to get it all out. You wanna run water through it, through it like three or four times to get all the dust off the gravel and the sand and the charcoal. So it'll take a few times to get it all out. But once it's out, you know, it's good to go. We were making this for another person, so we figured we'd do a video on it, just kind of show everybody how we make them and uh, what they do and how they operate. So this is a pretty simple concept. Simple ingredients you can buy at any store. And I'll tell you, whenever the grid goes down, no running water, no power, even if it just runs like that, a small stream like that out into something clean, catch and drink, that's, that's way better than nothing. And it's clean water too when it comes out of here. Normally, Take a cut a hole in the top here, fasten this lid down good, and put a funnel or something on there, and that way you can pour it right in there. Or you can leave the lid off up and pour it straight in there just like I did. We'll go ahead and address this through that. We'll let it run. That way it's good and cleaned out. But you can see it's clear now. Even the top of the gravel right here, it's got just a little bit left. I'll say just a little tiniest bit in there of dust. But for the most part, not, not much at all. As you can see, it's cleared up. <clears throat> all right, guys, that is how we make our filters. Uh, we have our Berkey filter that we made for inside the house. I'll leave a link to that. But this right here is what you wanted to use, like, say like if you're in a city or something like that, the grid goes down, you can, you can go outside and get water out of a mud hole, pour it in this thing and it'll come out as clean as it is right there. It's completely drinkable water when it comes out of this filter you can drink it but i do recommend this is just my personal recommendation what you want to do is catch the water out of this and i would boil it that's my personal opinion just simply because of just an extra precaution an extra step but if you didn't have a way to do that you could drink the water straight straight out of this right here so either way guys that's how we do it we made this one for a gift for a friend and uh, I'm just rinsing it out for him, getting it ready. And he can decide on how he wants the water to go in. Like I said, you put a filter, you know, a funnel on top of it. You cut a hole in it or just leave the lid off of it, just like that right there. So, ever how you want to do it. Personally, on the ones that we use, I, I make a hole and put a filter in, or a funnel in it before we can pour the water in it, leave the lid on it. That keeps the insides kind of from sloshing around, you know, pack it to the top, then there you go. But like I said, I'll leave links to everything that we use down in the description. These bulkheads right here, these bulkhead fittings, these are stainless steel. And the buckets, as you can see, you can get them from anywhere. You can get them from any local store. So anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. It's free to do, and you can kind of follow what we do here. And if you got any questions about this, comments, likes, dislikes, it, whichever you want to do, leave them down in the comments down below. All right, thank you. See you on next one. That water running out is 
100% crystal clear. So, 